I thought for sure I would have quit this whole van life thing by now. Because I always did that with places that I lived. Bored of an apartment, I moved to another one. Bored of a town, I'd move to another one. Bored of a job, I'd move to another one. But ever since I got into this damn little tiny van of mine, life has been super unique. That after all this time, I get so stoked to wake up because I have no clue what's in store every day. Good morning, everybody. We slept inside the shop last night because I needed to let that seal gasket seal stuff um, cure overnight on my rear differential because I don't want to have that leak problem again. So we let it sit for the night. And then this morning here, we're going to throw in, we're going to throw in some gear oil. And then uh, I think we're gonna hit the road. I'm gonna go play. Ah, oh. I'm trying to make putting on this. I'm trying to make putting on coveralls just like a daily thing when I get to the shop. <laughs> I'm tired of wrecking my clothes because I forget about them. What I should do actually is hang these on the wall over there. Oh. Life normally for me was very in control. I knew what was happening at what time of the day things were scheduled and on my appointment, my calendars, I knew where I DJ'd, what nights and when, and I knew what time I had to work this day and what time I had to leave. Things were very structured. Now, well, it's like I fly at the seat of my pants. I didn't know I was going to sleep in my shop last night. I didn't know that I was going to get up and do anything that I did today. Because fan life is pretty, pretty easy at throwing a curveball at you and making life, you know, different. I love this life. I'm trying. Okay, I'm done. I can't even edit this. Ah, boys will always be boys. But nowadays, I got grown boy toys. This is my new electric bike. A little while ago, I had a company send me through this awesome e-bike. It's called the Monroe. It's by a company called Mercava. And this has been my way to just breathe after spending a lot of time inside of the shop. It just is so much fun. This thing is no work. You barely have to move your feet and I'm bombing it. 30 kilometers an hour right now. <laughs> like I'm barely pedaling, I'm at 32 kilometers an hour. I know you guys have been eyeing this thing up sitting in my shop. <laughs> It is just so fitting. So fitting I had to get these because it just kind of fit the whole, the whole style. <laughs> I'll leave the links in my videos, you guys. This thing is super rad. So I did a little repair work here. There's a little patch you see there. It kind of has the same texture as, as my van paint has. I put one here and one here. So what was happening was the door was rubbing here and it was starting to wear a hole in the hot polyurethane coating. So I put this on there so the door would rub on top of it. I'm hoping I don't have to bring it over this edge, but as you can see there, it started to like chip away at, uh, at that polyurethane coating. Anyway, so this one here too did the same thing. So hopefully this solves that problem. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look pretty, but yeah, see the door's rubbing on there? It's because this is broken. So watch when the door, you see the movement in there? It's got a ton of movement. So I have to buy another one of these, but no matter what, it's always gonna rub on here anyway. So um, it's just a little extra protection. And the reason why that one went there is to help keep the door lifted a bit. So when it shuts, it'll hopefully keep it away from rubbing against there. And if you're wondering what that white stuff is, it's actually concrete tape it's for putting lines on pavement. It's super thick. 
I was gonna use like a skateboard grip tape, but they were just so thin. This stuff is actually fairly thick. It wasn't cheap to think this roll was like $60 or something. But uh, if it solves that problem, it was 60 bucks well spent. And I'm sure at some point, way to go, buddy. I'm gonna find something creative to do with this stuff. So it definitely won't go to waste. You can, still, you can feel a little bit of the rubber stuff coming out the edges. I don't see any leaks at all. I done good. How you doing, bro? How you doing? No, you can come here. It's just a camera, bro. It's just a camera. <laughs> You're so cute, buddy. You're so cute. Look how tiny he is. These two dogs are gonna get into trouble together one day. I know it. This is not your house. That's not your house. And it's definitely not your house. Hey, get out of the neighbor's yard. Come on, get. <laughs> Cruzy, get out of here. Come on. Just bro, you can't, you can't go in there. <laughs> get out of here. Come on, go to the shop. Come on, get. Both of you guys, get out of here. Biggie, you too. Come on, you trouble. You two are trouble. You have to teach him better, okay? <laughs> Don't let Cruzy be the one that's gonna teach you all the bad things. Wait a minute. Maybe it's you that's teaching him the bad things. Eh? Maybe. Maybe you're the troublesome one. <laughs> Maybe. 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 What's wrong with the ball? They're both looking at it like I'm not touching it, you touch it. <laughs> no freaking way. Check this thing out. This is unbelievably cool. Check this out, buddy. It's our van. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it, Cruzy? The detail. It's got my solar panels, my roof vent, my flags, the ladder. Let me tell you the story behind this. So one of the owners of the shop here works with students and the student was flipping through their iPad and she's seen a picture of a whole bunch of these paper and tape vehicles that they make. It's made out of, look at that, it's got a window. All that is is tape and paper. She's like, where did you see that van? Student's like, YouTube. She's like, I know that person. The student's like, what, you know him? And she told him that I rent the shop at their home. So the student brought this in for her to give to us. So thank you so much for making this. This is the coolest thing I have seen in a very long time. I could seriously never put into words how awesome stuff like this makes me feel. This is seriously like really honestly made my day today. Just to know that somebody cared about us enough or liked my van enough or thought we were cool enough or my van was cool enough to do this. Like, and, and just to do it just for the sake of doing it, not for the sake of giving it to me or to know that I would ever have this in my possession. Seriously, thank you. You made me feel like a cool human being today. And I was looking inside and it even has part of my van build inside of it. Check it out. My bed's in there. My water cabinet's even in there. Look at that. <laughs> this is so awesome. Look in there. Heck yeah. I am super impressed. Even on the dashboard there, it even has like the little line section from where the airbag and stuff is. Going through the side window. Oh, you can see the water cabinet there. <laughs> it's like, it's like the coolest. Are you kidding me? Look in there. It even has my garbage can on the inside of the side doors. The kid did the side doors too. Look in there. This is insane. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. Seriously, this kid has officially made me feel like the coolest guy on the planet. Cruzy, did you see, did you see? Did you see the van, buddy? 
you see the van? It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty cool. The reality of that whole situation is, it wasn't me. It was probably my van was cool. <laughs> I'm just not that cool. My little repair seems to be okay. That goes above my little piece, but I did. You can see that little piece. I just glued it back on there and it's not gonna stay. But yeah, I ripped the Tyro coating, the door right there and it pulled it and it peeled it right over here. So it's just gonna have to stay, it's the way it is. I won't be going to Calgary anytime soon and I don't see this being, uh, being an important like repair to go back to them to touch up a little piece. Seems like a big deal, uh, it can just stay. I'm pretty sure at some point all that rust is gonna start popping back through and maybe at that point we'll get the bottom redone. If I ever have to do any more work on here though, I think I will do a black strip around here, do the bottom side of this in the same material on the bottom. That way when the rust comes through, you don't see the staining as bad. So I've been wiping this stuff off, it comes off, but it's staining like, so it's coming from up there and just dripping through. If I did it black, that wouldn't be as noticeable. So if I ever do that years down the line, we'll get this one fixed at that time. Every time I leave the shop, I unplug everything power-wise. I make sure all my power bars are shut off. That way nothing in here is getting any electricity. My speakers are off. We're good to go there. Power bar for my chargers is shut off. I do that for peace of mind for me. That way I know that all the possibilities of fire are not happening while I'm not here. I just sleep better when I'm on the streets knowing my shop is in a better place. Uh oh, we got a drawer open. <laughs> Hear that? Turn the corner, the door goes the drawer goes flying open. I thought tonight we would just come down and grab a campsite. I don't really know why. It's dark outside. We're not gonna enjoy it. And I'll probably be gone by the time the sun comes up. This might be a waste of 13 bucks. This campground is full. I thought that was one, but nope. All right, we found a parking spot. All campsites are $13 per night. See, I told you, I have no idea what's happening from my day to day. I literally just let life take me wherever it wants to take me. I'm here for the ride. I'm here for the long haul. Only problem with my perimeter lights is they shine right across. I met my neighbor over there. You know, that RV that I was shining the big light at? <laughs> Turns out he's a subscriber of the channel. His name was Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Really big fan of this jet boil. I think this one's called the half gen. Super stoked on this one. I used to have one of those cheap Amazon ones before, the butane ones. Uh, this one was way better. A little expensive, but super worth it. Crazy what's going on up here, buddy. It's a giant mess. Look hey, what happened. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I can't believe that kid made that, what do we call it, sculpture out of paper and tape of my van. <laughs> I feel so honored. I really honestly do. We're, we're, we're supposed to be FaceTime on YouTube right now, which means you need to be up here with your game face on. <laughs> Is that your game face? <laughs> so we are heading off into the backcountry tomorrow. Big fingers crossed. You know what happened last time I tried to go out? We hit snow. Um, there has been no snow since. It, we've had some cold snaps, so there may not be a lot of snow melt, but I'm hoping. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're going to head out towards Campbell River and beyond and see if we can get out there and play in the dirt because I really want to throw the drone up in the air and, and just be inspired by nature. And I know all of you probably miss the backcountry too as well. 
Um, it's nothing like the backcountry out here on the west coast on Vancouver Island. It's so good. Just all the mossy trees, the mossy rocks, the big trees. And, mm, my kind of place. All right. I think we're done for the day, guys. Cheers to all of you. Thanks for riding along. And I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys, um, we have sticker packs available. I'm blowing out a ton of our stickers that we're not going to release anymore. I'm not sure which ones are going to keep yet. I'm still deciding, but we have five sticker packs for $10, which is like half the, over half the price of what I would normally sell them for. But five stickers, random packs. You never know what you're going to get. It'll be five random stickers for 10 bucks. Links are on the website, advancedyvanlife.ca. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And uh, thanks to that kid for making that really awesome sculpt sculpture model. Model. There's the word model of our van i really appreciate it bro until the next one see you guys it amazes me sometimes how my days are always so damn fun how i have just the time of my life day after day it's that damn van man i'm telling you that thing just it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me see you tomorrow